This is how the stock lights for the bed look. They're also perimeter lighting when you unlock the vehicle. They're yellow, they're semi-bright, but they're not that bright. I went ahead and ordered some lights, LEDs, off Amazon. They were cheap. I'll have a link in the description and you can check them out for yourself. They come from ijdmtoy.com LED series. So we're going to see A, if these fit into the Ford F-150 housing. If they do, then I'll just put one in and see how bright it is. So it's best to have like something like this. This is a T20 bit. So you can use a T20 or at least on mine, it's flat. So you can use a flathead. They're pretty long screws, as you can see. So you definitely probably want a power tool. You don't want to crank this on with a power tool. Just get it slightly there and then probably do it by hand. So as you can tell, once you get those done, you should be able to get this off. Yep, there's a gasket, so it's slightly might be stuck on. Gonna get you guys a little, a little closer here. This is what it looks like. I've done a little video before, but didn't get to change the bulb. I think it kind of looks like messy wiring to me with the connectors they use, like that splicing in and then this guy. I don't know, it just doesn't look that quality. But what I also might do while I'm back here, we'll, we'll see if I feel ambitious, I might wire in, if I can route a wire from here, and if I have wire, down, along, down inside, and then put a switch in here in line so I can turn these two bed lights off because the F-150 is corny. With uh, it, time, it goes for like 10 minutes. You're at a campground at night, you're sleeping in the vehicle. Uh, you just woke everyone up with this bright light. So there needs to be a way to turn it on and off and the switch on the dash will not allow you to just turn it off. You gotta wait and have it time out. It's freaking annoying. I don't know why Ford did that. It's annoying. So to get the bulb out, just go ahead, twist, and it comes right out. You can see it's a normal bulb. Here I go with the LED length. Looks like it's gonna be good for length just by eyeballing it. That's what it looks like. His LEDs there, three. Three on that side and three right there. Pull it out. Yeah, it looks like possibly the same style slot. Okay. Let's take the remote. We'll say unlock. It comes on. Remember, it's not in the reflecting, reflective housing. So I'm going to put that back in and put it back up and show you. Here we go. I'm going to turn it on. LED came on a lot quicker. As you can tell, it's a lot whiter, a lot more yellow on the standard bulb, as one would expect. And if I hit lock, this one slightly goes off a little quicker and a little sharper versus that one totally dims out. But that's okay. And it fits in the housing, so that's good. I will do the other one now. So same deal on the left side here. Just twist, pull it out. Now that I know it's not too hot, yank it out. So again, take the LED, put it in, I'll put it in the housing, twist, that one's on, that one's on. Okay, that's back on other than I haven't screwed it on due to, I might look into doing that wire. Okay, once again, we're gonna hit unlock. Wow. I mean, it's not nighttime, so I can't show you, but being a whiter light, it's definitely brighter. That's gonna be, that just looks a lot better too. 
Locked. And that's what it looks like. That's not bad. I like that. Now, I can get an LED bulb. I mean, I could get white, but white might be so bright that it washes out and be too white up here. But they sell red LEDs. So I might actually go ahead and order a red LED and put that in, in here for the brake light and see if it works. Okay, so bonus footage. If I do this, I want to insert, I want to run a wire or these, okay, they run under, I think that's the headliner down there. Let's if I can feel, yeah, that's a headliner. So I could pop one in, just put it right up on top of the ceiling or I can try to fish one all the way down, you know, from here and see if it can go down the pillar. Next up, see if I have any wire. So I got a white positive that's coming, coming into this light first and then going off to this light. So I could interrupt, obviously I could interrupt that. I wish it had a connector doesn't have a connector so I can't just unplug it and try and I don't really know what the heck I don't know what where that one's going it's going back to that hole so it's coming there going that hole oh wait they're all going down okay Then we got another, so this must be the main positive coming from the car. So I could just tap into this one and break that circuit with a switch. Unfortunately, I don't have a switch. This will work because it has a positive two cables. So I would run one to the negative here, right? So run one to the negative and then the positive. Wow, that connector is horrible. Okay, it's like thread showing it. I mean, it's uh, wire showing up. So with back. more thought on my inline switch, I really want to do it because if I sleep in the bed again, that or I'm just going to have to bring a tool and pop, pop out the bulbs, you know, undo this take these out, takes a couple seconds, and just not have those while I'm sleeping in the vehicle if I do that. And that might be the actual easiest, although a pain in the butt. The real easiest would be go through the hassle of wiring an inline switch to this, to this, uh, cut this, and then wire an inline switch to turn these two guys on and off at my own will when I'm camping or when I just want to be stealth and I don't want these to come on for like 10 minutes. Now you say, how do they come on 10 minutes if you hit lock? Well, it's because you hit the silly bed light because you, you uh, turn on the bed light for a minute and you get everything situated and you shut the doors and it's on, it's on, it's on and nothing you can do but wait. Now I also found when I opened the doors from the outside and got back in, it still was staying on. It wasn't even hitting lock. It just wasn't dimming them. It wanted to go through the whole cycle. Like it got stuck on that. You can read about it online. It was a pain in the butt the time I slept in the vehicle. So anyways, we're going to put this back for now. Tackle that another day because I have to order a switch. And some black wire. So I'm not doing it bad with uh, all red. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one more time. Unlock. Looks pretty good to me. And lock. There we go. Awesome. It's going to match the lights that I was given for the back of the car. Bought these on Amazon. Link will be in the description. And if I remember, I will pin it in the comment section also. Because a lot of people are lazy and don't look at the descriptions. So... That's what I'm trying. They seem to work right off the bat. They're cheap enough that even if they burned out, I'd just buy, buy more. I mean, they're not necessary lights. So um, 
ones I worry about is when you get into like brake lights and then third brake light, but the third brake light's not a hundred percent necessary for, you know, life as long as your normal brake lights are working. So I'm willing to try brands I haven't heard of. I mean, they even claim they have a website. So I J D M T O Y dot com a uh, forward slash D I Y. So claiming they have a website even check them out. I also bought these pin pills. They're looking for something for a hold a pin in the truck. Fortunately to get black, you have to pay a lot more money and then you get like a five pack or something. And it's like, I don't want that. So paid a lot less and they give you random colors. So I will probably put in red because I have a surprise that's coming for the car and heading at something to do with this area in general. So that will be coming soon within a, another week or two. It's custom made. So I'm gonna put the red one in the car and you're not gonna see it anyways. I'm gonna put it so you don't even see, see where it's at. I'm gonna put it on the back side of this to hold my two pins that roll around. I'll put the nice pin. I might put two there or just one and then toss this one in the glove box as a backup. But yeah, it, it's just annoying because these things, I usually have them that way and then they'll get turned around and they start rolling really bad. Yeah, I need a way to hold my pin. So you'll want some alcohol. This is only 70%, but it'll work. I got an older dish towel here. So I'm gonna pour some on here, wipe the back of that dash just so there's no oils or armor all or anything oily on the back. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, a little bit dirty. I don't know if you can see that it's dark in here, but yeah, it was a little dirty. I'll just swap, clean off, okay. Like I said, I'll just use the red one. I'm not gonna see it anyways. Make sure the pin works in it. So it's, you're supposed to go like that. Yeah, that pin works. Yeah, that works. If you have really fat pins, probably this is like a standard pin. Um, let's go with really standard, a Bic. Oh yeah, that holds like really good. So these two, they, I mean, they show really fat markers and stuff, but it's going to be spread wide open at that point. So yeah, going to go like that. That's cool. I might even go ahead and put that in there. Peel here. So. There we go. I have that pin holder installed and you can't even see it, which is nice. Can't I can't see it in a reflection of the windshield. I just grab it, it's right there, and easy to put put back. Oh that that's convenient. So no one will know there's a pin there, it's not rolling around. Now if I was in the car all the time, you know, I'd put I'd have one up here. Now I'd find a spot, maybe even on top of the dash or something to put this, but I just need it for my mileage or for occasional jot something down, notes or whatever, not often. So I'll have a link to this in the description also. So check it out, a little bonus footage. It's kind of silly, but you know, people want their pins to jot down those notes. So everyone take care, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and check out my other videos. I appreciate you guys watching and anything you can do, if you can shop through Amazon, my Amazon affiliate link, that helps out greatly. You, even if you just do your normal everyday shopping and don't buy anything I link to, I still get a little bit. And hey, if you're buying on Amazon anyways, why not help someone out? Once again, thank you, bye.